Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to do toll reimbursements with CarSync. So the first thing you do is go to settings. CarSync is totally free. And you go to trackers and tolls. And then you're going to, well, I already have a couple connected, but you're going to go to connect. And then you're just going to choose your thing. You're going to put in your login info for whatever uh, toll service you use. And then it'll connect it. <coughs> One issue you might run into is, let's see if I can find where it is. Some of the cars will show up twice and it'll kind of mess with the tolls. I don't know if it's if you add the trackers. It'll be like these here and there'll be another list on the bottom. I think it shows up under car variables or something like that. But if you have a problem where under your tolls, you're getting one of your cars that's definitely connected to a toll tag and it's uh, it's saying it'll say that there's like trips that aren't showing up or the car is not working or something it'll be because there's the, basically seeing like two of your cars and they're not linked together because there's like one with the tracker and they separate something weird like that but you'll figure it out if it happens you can just uh, message support and they'll help you with it that's what I did and then what you do to oh another thing you want to set up is the reimbursements you can go to tolls to have a message so this is the default to go tolls itemize list which I like to use that it just lists all the like the bridges and the cost and the time and date and everything but I like to put this message on the top that just says if you ignore this and don't pay it don't worry Terrell will just auto charge your account because you'll get a lot of people messaging you. I get a lot of people messaging me too after they miss the window and then it's already escalated to support and they're like, oh, how do I pay this, blah, blah, blah. So it might be a good point, a good idea to put something like that, an automated message. Also explaining like if they, you know, miss the time window, they won't be able to pay it. It'll just auto charge their account. And then to charge for them, it's actually not completely automated like I thought at first. You do have to actually click on them, but it's super easy. It takes about two seconds. So you go down here to inbox reimbursements. What you want to do is click on 90 days. I like to uh, only, and then you just go down the list and you click on request. Uh, I use, I'm in the, I'm in California, so I use Fast Track, and a lot of the tolls are very delayed. So I like to wait and not charge for the trips that have already been over in seven days. You might even want to wait like 14 days. So if you do less than 70 days, you're going to charge them for tolls and then more tolls are probably or might come up and then you'll end up charging them more than once. I just think it's a better experience for the guest to only charge them one time instead of doing multiple different charges. So then all you do is you go on request, next, request, and then CarSync also they automatically upload screenshots of your... Uh, your toll invoices and put them in the trip photos section for that trip and then they'll get automatically escalated when the guest doesn't pay them I forget if Turo actually automatically es uh, escalates stuff on their own now or if CarSync does it because I know for a while Turo changed it where they wouldn't automatically es escalate it I think they stopped doing that but when they did do that CarSync would automatically escalate it you could tell them to do that so that's all you do you just go through these and you just click on them like that. You go one by one. It's super easy. That's all there is to it.